James had been asked to do autobiography loads of times before, after Sydney Olympics, after Athens, when he'd rode the Atlantic, when he'd raced the Antarctic, and he'd always said, no, I haven't really done anything interesting. Then in 2010, he was hit by a truck when he was cycling across America. We've had a hell of a couple of years, and the timing then just felt right to write about James's story and, and everything he'd been through and everything we've been through as a family. I think we're really proud of it, actually. We're really proud of, of the book itself. We wrote it very much with our children in mind and our families and telling the story to them. It was very important to us that we could write freely and, and not edit each other. The thing that I really think has made the book better is that we didn't read each other's words until the end. And I'm quite glad it would chip away at my confidence because <laughs> hers is much better than mine. But also, <laughs> reading it, I haven't cried much at all since the accident and I, I couldn't read what Bev had written about how I've changed, how I, my relationship with our kids has changed through her eyes and, until I'd read the book. I did warn James and I said some of this is going to be really hard for you to read. Do you want to read it and change anything? And he said no. If it's what happened, it's what happened. I'm not going to edit you. I'm not going to put a spin on this. I'm not going to PR it. I'm not going to try and paint myself out to be something that I'm not. And I think that says a huge amount. I regret amount. that now, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. James is different to most sportsmen. He just is. He always was. It certainly helped me reading Bev's stuff, although it was horrible um, to read. It's helped me understand a lot more about what she's going through. And hopefully I'll adapt my behaviour because of it. <laughs> <laughs>